Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Can you please, as usual, write down the date and the date for today into your AdMats 2 book. So we're going to learn uh, integration for today's lesson. So we're going to continue with the area between the curve and the line. Before this, you only learn area under the curve, which is integrate, and then you get area towards your x-axis or y-axis. But for now, we're going to learn uh, new things, which is to use integration to find the area between the curve and also the line. So if you look at page 52 on Ilmu Bhakti module, uh, you're going to find that area which is bounded between the curve and also the line. So first, uh, we're going to use the concepts uh, of simultaneous equations. You're going to equate y equals to x equals to y equals to x minus x squared. Just equate both of them. You'll get x equals to 2x minus x squared. So you bring over to the other side uh, because you want to find the values of your x. Now you simplify. Negative 2x plus x will be negative x. Now you um, factorize, you pull out the common term which is x, so you're going to have x bracket x minus 1 equals to 0. So now you're going to have two values of x which is x equals to 0 and also x equals to 1. So now uh, the x equals to 0 will be at the origin and then x equals to 1 will be the line which is passing through AB or you can see the intersection at exactly point A. So now you find the area under the curve. So if you use integration to find the area under the curve, you'll get this area. I look at the diagram, I just, um, I'm just i shading all the curve, uh, the area below the curve. So this is what you get when you integrate from 0 to 1. So by applying the concepts of integration, power plus 1 over power plus 1, you get 2x squared over 2. You can cancel the 2 if you want, and then you have x cubed over 3. Now substitute in the values of the limits into your equation, you would have... Um, the expression just now, so you're going to subtract both of them, you will get 2 over 3. Now, uh, you need to find the area of triangle, because once you have the area below the curve, you need to find the area of triangle, and then you can subtract both of them. So to find the area of triangle, the base is already 1, because from 0 to 1, the length will be 1. But the height needs to be found, so to find the area, I mean the height, you simply use y equals to x equals to 1 because x equals to 1, so the height is also 1. So the area of triangle will be 1 over 2. So now to find the shaded region, so the area that you just found out in the previous, which is 2 over 3, just minus with the area of triangle. So the final answer will be 1 over 6. So you can write unit square because area will be in square units. So this is optional if you want to write the units up to you. We do not deduct marks if you don't write the units. So, can you try to do question number 2, question number 3, number 4, and also question number 5? If you need help, uh, you can refer to my marking scheme here. Uh, I'll give you all the solutions, but please try first. If you can't solve, then you refer to my solutions. So, there are several methods that we can use in order to find the final answer. Uh, this is just one of them. This is just a suggested answer. You can use any method you like, any method you want, uh, as long as you get the final answer. So if you need help, you can always ask me. Uh, you can ask whether in the comment section or so maybe direct to my personal phone number if you want. So this is a um, solution for question number four. So sorry about that. I have to tilt your phone a little bit because um, the picture is in landscape mode. So the answer will be, um, okay, this is question number five. Uh, question number five is a quite um, technical. Uh, there are a lot of workings happening there. So the final answer will be five, five over six. Good luck.